Now that I've created the slope and aspect data, I'll reclassify them into meaningful categories. Raster reclassification is a method for aggregating data values into categories, and oftentimes we only know things about certain categories of data. In this case, I'll be reclassifying them into categories important to identifying habitat suitability for a particular plant species. Once the slope and aspect data have been reclassified, I'll combine them in task three to identify suitable habitat areas. So I'm going to classify the slope raster into three categories, from 0 to 45 degrees, 45 to 55 degrees, and greater than 55 degrees. So to do this, first I need to create a text file that contains the classification rules. I'm going to bring this up. I've got this in a text editor called Notepad++, which is a, an open source text editor. You can just use Notepad just as well. And I'm creating a file with three lines in it. The first line tells QGIS to recode cells with slope values between 0 and 45 and make them have a value of 1 in the output. The next line tells it to take cells with a value of 45 to 55 and reclassify them to have a value of 2. And the third line tells it to reclassify any values greater than 55 as output values of 3. This asterisk is a wild card. So it just means whatever is greater than 55. So to do the actual reclassification, I'm going to use a tool called r.recode, which I can find in the processing toolbox. So I'm going to go to the processing menu, to toolbox, and it opens up the toolbox in this right-hand window. And I can just use the search box to find the tool. I'll type in recode, and I'll find the tool there, r.recode, and I'll expand it so I can see the whole window. So my input layer is going to be slope. Then I need to point it to my recode rules table. So I'm going to click the ellipsis button and choose my slope r recode rules file. And then I'm going to give the output raster a name. I'll save to file, and in my lab 7 folder, I'll call this slope reclassified.img. Click save, and then click run to run this. The new layer appears in the layers panel as output raster layer, and it appears to have only two categories, black and white. I'm going to open up the layer properties, go to the style tab, and I'll change this to a single band pseudo color renderer. I'm going to change the mode to equal interval and give it three classes matching the data values in my reclassified raster. Then I'm going to go down to here and tell it to use the min max values and under accuracy choose actual and load those values and then finally click classify and I get each category getting its own color. Before I click OK on this I'm going to go to the general tab and rename it from output raster layer to slope reclassified. Then I'll click OK and I see my resulting reclassification where the green cells would be the most optimum for this plant. Now I'll recode the aspect data in the same fashion. This plant prefers west-facing slopes. So the west-facing slopes will be set to 3. The north and south are the next best locations, so I'll set them to 2. And the eastern slopes would be the worst habitat in terms of slope and would be set to 1. I'm going to bring up the recode rules for aspect. And I've got a line for each one of the cardinal directions. So I've got the compass bearing here in the first line from 0 to 22 and a half. That would be, that'd be a north facing slope. It's getting a value of 2. The most optimum west facing slopes are right here. So I'm going to open up the r.recode tool again. This time I'll be pointing it to the aspect layer. I'll point it to my aspect recode rules text file. And I'll name this file as aspect reclassified dot img. Click run. And now I've got my slope and my aspect reclassified into meaningful categories for this particular species of plant. In the final task I'll use the raster calculator to combine the reclassified slope and aspect to produce potential habitat for this species.